right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and a new distributor. Actually, this is their second visit and these guys have some pretty good wines. Kaysla Imports, one of their partners in business. And, um, you know, this is a portfolio that a couple people have tried to bring in to Florida, but only wanted bits and pieces. And I always tell people, you know, with a great portfolio like this, you know, the, the importers, the only way to be in Florida is to partner up with the distributor. So, hey, if they got goods sitting on the floor for 60, 90 days, and, uh, you know, you got to help them move through it or at least help them financially with it. Otherwise, you're going to be closing it out. And that's the worst thing you can do to the brand. It's great for me. I love that. Nothing I like better than, you know, distributors that can't sell wine. Anyways, we've got uh, some really unique products here and some great stuff. Some good values. Pick pull de Pinay, which is uh, you know it's a local grape in the south of France. It's to Languedoc, and for eleven dollars and seventy five cents, a really nice, refreshing white. This one's made at a co op, and a bit of a peppery spice to the bouquet. Very light, some green melon notes, but pleasant and uh, light and pleasant on the tongue as well, with a short finish, a slight briny note to it. Like I said, a very refreshing little white. Eleven dollars and seventy five cents. Very unique and different. A good little wine. All right, the Domaine Delorme and Fields Puy Fusse sur la Roche. Puy Fusse is getting a lot of attention because you're going to see some areas probably elevated to Premier Cru in this, one of the greatest areas in the Cote de Chalonnais, well, the most recognized in this country. Anyways, Puy Fusse. This is a small domain, and this is Caseland Imports, and this wine's got a good amount of that chalky kind of minerally note to the bright lemon, citrus, fruit, and pear on the nose. Nice and rich and juicy on the tongue. These 2011s, really showy wines, a nice core of green apple and lemon drop candy fruit and bright acidity here, those tongue-tingly minerality that you, we love Burgundy for showing at the end. At $32.50, a very good little wine, and Puy Fusse is going up in price, folks. That's all I got to say. All right, Chateau de la Galinière, Cote de Provence Rosé. And this is your typical Cote de Provence Rosé blend with Cinso, Syrah, and Grenache. And uh, a little heavy in the Cinso, but uh, really pretty nose, rose petals, raspberry, and strawberry fruit, a slight seashell kind of briny character to the note. Very fruity and juicy wine on the tongue, that strawberry and raspberry fruit shown with some pretty floral tones. And that light briny minerally character at the end, a very good example of Cote de Provence Rosé. And then off to Australia, mate, the Thorn Clock Shiraz, the Shot Fire. And this is a sixth generation family in the Barossa. Good amount of blackberry and blueberry fruit on the nose with that violet and vanilla notes, some milk chocolate and licorice spice. Very balanced style of Shiraz with a good amount of that dark jammy fruit, but nice freshness on the finish. You know, I'm not a big fan of these 16, 17% alcohol wines that uh, a little over the top and sweet. They don't last long. This wine for $23, I'll bet, is going to be around for you know, five to seven years easily, but a great little value as one of the, you find one of the best value areas in the world still, in my opinion, the Barossa Valley in Australia. All right, the Montegrio uh, Brescia is next, and this is a Malbec. It's 100% single vineyard from a Grelo. It's a typical example of Malbec here, blackberry, blueberry fruit, pretty violet floral notes, black licorice, dark cocoa, espresso-like notes, a big and chewy wine with a solid core of that dark berry fruit, fine tannins, really well-balanced, that earthen spice from the nose showing through the finish, an excellent little Malbec at $33. And then the Domaine Grand Veneer Chateauneuf de Pop from Alain Jaume, uh, Homme and Fields, how do you pronounce that? A blend of the Holy Trinity of Rhone varietals, Grenache, Syrah, and Mouvedre. Really pretty bouquet, fresh flowers, mixed berry pie fruit, fresh herbs, a hint of dried meat there. Really plump and juicy wine on the tongue with a good amount of that sweet uh, berry pie fruit showing and smooth silky tannins. Nice freshness and spice and herbs through the finish. An excellent little Chateauneuf de Pop, but maybe a little expensive at 57.50, but all of the wines are uh, very good here today. And uh, I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.